Lawmakers are trying to tackle issues with homelessness, but they are getting stuck. This session, Republican Representative Matt Gress brought a bill that, in part, creates harsher punishments for those who have drugs at homeless shelters. He also wants to see an audit of state spending and track metrics like overdoses and how long someone stays in housing. Meanwhile, many Democrats in the legislature want to prioritize creating more affordable housing and eviction prevention. The debate boils down to a treatment first approach or a housing first approach. We have to see the results. We have to know which interventions are working and which are not in order for us as state policymakers and local leaders to do the right thing. We're shooting ourselves in the foot if we just say, oh, let's put them all in jail. How much money are we going to spend incarcerating people? How much, how much is that going to cost taxpayers? IT reporter Erica Stapleton joins us now with the backstory. Erica, we know that you've been covering the homeless crisis for the past two years now. If the lawmakers can't agree, then what? Well, as of right now, we don't know. It's in standstill. So they're hoping to try and move something forward. I've listened to hours of hearings, and you can tell they really want to get something that addresses the multifaceted you know, issue that we have here in the state. But I will say just if they don't get something done this session, it doesn't mean that no one is addressing homelessness mm -hmm. because there are other providers, there are other resources. A lot of cities and municipalities are dealing with it in their own ways. But that's also part of the problem too, is that there's so many people involved in trying to solve the problem and they're not all talking to each other. I know one of the issues was that um, Keys to Change, formerly the Human Services Campus, they initially, it's one of the biggest shelter, they have one of the biggest shelters in the state, they initially weren't invited to the stakeholder meeting to talk about this. So wow. you kind of have to talk to each other if exactly. you want to move the ball forward in a collective way to actually solve the problem. Yeah, like so many issues, right? Universally. Okay, so in the meantime, is Arizona's homeless situation just getting worse? Yeah, more people are becoming homeless and it may not be as visible as there have been some shifts in where people can stay and there have been added shelter beds over the past few years, but some are also shifting. A lot of places are maybe not having the same funding that they did before. So it's a very dynamic thing. And what I keep hearing is that if you know one person gets into a shelter space or if they get into housing, there's always another person in line right. to fill that spot. So it is a growing problem. It's hard to quantify as well. I know they go out every year and kind of do a track in January. Yeah. We don't have those numbers yet for 2024, but they're expected to keep going up. And that's why everyone needs to be involved in trying to come up with a solution because it's a problem that impacts the whole state. Right. A lot of the organizations need to get involved as well as the lawmakers trying to find some common ground. Erica, I know you'll be following this closely. Thank you so much.